hi thank you for clicking and welcome in case in case you are new to this channel please subscribe and hit that notification button so that you don't miss any time i post a video on this channel on our channel i always showcase the african village life on this video i am going to show you the african village kitchen this is the african village kitchen so i'm going to show you what is inside this african village kitchen and if you are my number one fan thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos because you always make me want to post more and post more videos about the village life in africa so without much ado give this video a like and comment in the comment section below let me know what you think about today's video because your comment delights me thank you so just at the entrance of the kitchen we always have the broom it is always kept behind the door i don't know who came up with this but in uh, all african village kitchens you will find that the broom is behind the door and this is the chair if you are a visitor you will sit on this chair and then we have this small bench it is called kitimoto so you can sit there also as a visitor and we also have another kitimoto that the cook will sit on while cooking there and then those ones are very important things that are found in our kitchen and this is our chicken where they hatch the eggs so you see this one is hatching the eggs they have to sleep here you will always find this uh, in the corners of the houses so in every corner we have where um, the chicken will hatch if it is not there you will have it at the top of the house uh, you can see that it is hung there because sometimes when they sleep on the floor we have wild birds that eat them and you can also have it you see this one is another one it doesn't have any chicken so it is just put here but you can have it hung up like the other one that i showed you and this one is um pot sweet potato leaves they are food made for rabbits actually we have rabbits here so just at the in the outside of this kitchen we have this rabbit house but it you're supposed to enter through the inside so you see that is our rabbit they are true for my nephew so while in the kitchen the extension over there it has the rabbits where do you put your rabbits in your village drop your comment and let me know where you put it your comment delights me thank you and so this is where we put the small chicken or chicks so that to avoid the cold during the early morning and this is our jerry can for children mostly because they can't carry a pot see that is my pot that i will use to fetch water and this is the drinking water we cover it with a plate and we have a cup uh, we have a cup that we use to take the water and pour it inside a jug or another cup for drinking we don't use the same cup to, to take the water and drink in it so this is our kitchen table it is dark because of the soot so just bear with us we use firewood so many of the woods here will be dark this is um liquid that is made from ash and this is the ash ash liquid maker that we use to cook so many meals in african village i will be showing you some in the next videos and that one is our kettle for the tea just above my head we have this it is called kumusele swa it is made up of sisal ropes we just tie it above the roof of the house and we you can now hang in there this is where we keep our most precious thing mostly food so we have hung the wad that we will use to 
keep our milk so we put it there to avoid cracking or breaking because when you put it down you can easily heat it and it may fall down and break then we lose our precious milk so we hang it over there and this is our cooking place inside the kitchen we are roasting the meat this is a roasted meat See, it is very dry it can even stay here this meat can stay for one year without getting bad so this is how we store our food we dry them and roast them so this is where we cook from and um, there are no three stones this is a cooking gas in the village we have two places to cook and now this is the firewood where we put our firewood in the kitchen in almost in every african village kitchen you will always find something like this or where we put them firewood just below it we also have the cooking place and this is um, a panga the one that we use to cut the firewood or split it into smaller pieces before we eat and this is a cooking pot you can see it is dark not like the other pot water pot and cooking pots are different you just look at it on the outer side so as you cook the warmth that comes from below it is what dries the firewood upwards tell me what you use to store the firewood in your village your comment delights me this is also roasted legs cow legs as i told you we usually dry them or smoke them after smoking them you can just put them it must be near the fire so that it can't get spoiled so after that i had forgotten to show you what we use to cut grass for our um, cow sheep and goats so this is what we call we use it is called a ringa in my mother tongue how do you call it in your country or where you are watching from your comment delights me then this maybe you call it pistol and mortar we call it sea wheelie in my mother tongue this is what we use to pound yam cassava bananas whichever in my next video please watch i'll be pounding fufu for the first time and this pipe is the one we use to light the fire mm. yes as you shown above mm -hmm. so that is pretty what is inside our african village so just on the outside we have other rabbits that are kept outside so let me know what you have in your village kitchen in the comment section below your comment delights me make sure you hit that like button and notification bell thank you